And joining me in the studio now is Don Okalo, a Nigerian film director, and Kem Denchuku, a Nigerian film producer. The two have been working together and have made huge strides in the diaspora film production industry. Don, you teach creative writing. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, introduction to films yes. at uh, Texas, Texas Southern University. University. You have also written several fiction novels. Yes, ma'am. What motivates you? Um, the desire to tell a story, a compelling story, that's one. And of course, you know, you want uh, an audience to build up an audience that will eventually uh, uh, look at your work. So, you know. That uh, is what the uh, motivation uh, behind it is. Uh, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> and Kem, I understand you also recently completed three shots and one feature film in just 14 days. How did that happen? <laughs> well, uh, I put time into the pre-production work to make the production stage easier for me. It was tough, but doable, so I did. And uh, Don, again, you have an ambitious undertaking. Both yes. of you have a, quite an ambitious undertaking yes. to start an online platform for movie lovers. Tell us more about this oh, one. Golden Eye TV. Mm -hmm. Golden Eye TV, it's, um, it's a specialty of ours. And uh, all we're trying to do is to build a web platform where you know, filmmakers can come and visit with us and then have their products you know, viewed by uh, mm -hmm. a special kind of breed mm -hmm. of film watchers. So Golden Eye TV is a web TV. It's a platform <clears throat> for streaming TV and movies. So we're going to launch it uh, sometime in, uh, at the end of this month. Okay. Have yes, you done Houston. some trials already? Oh, of course. And of course. it's doing well? <laughs> it's okay. doing fine. Okay. And Kem, let me turn to you. And of course, you know, we featured you here before. We yes, talked to you previously. Mm -hmm. And you have done so much in so short time. You have been a filmmaker. You are, you've written books as well. And you are a mother. How do you coordinate all this? Um, well, what I do actually is to uh, take deep breaths, first of all. And of course, I take God on board with me. That's the only way for me to keep moving. But when, when you talk about film production, really, what does it really take? Do you have to work on locations? You have to, what, what comes into well, play? Well, I mean, once the, uh, a script is given to me, I read it and see if it's something that I would like to do. It's not every script that I take. The story actually is what drives me. So once I get that, of course, then I have to find out if there's an investor. Of course, then we look into locations and casting the right actors for, uh, the, you know, the, their role. So it takes a whole lot, a whole lot. I mean, when you're watching a movie, when it's finally done, it looks a lot easier. But when you come on the set, 10, 12 hours, in fact, last week we were up, I'm not lying, we were up 48 hours straight. No sleeping. No sleeping. No sleeping. <laughs> I thought I was going to crash, but you know, I'm here, so. And the kids in the background. <laughs> oh, now, yes. let's talk, Don, you know, that's very interesting. But then yes. again, let's talk about uh, one of the trailer that, that I've watched is The Pound of Flesh. Yes, yes, it's yes. It's kind of a thriller. It's ooh, yeah, breathtaking it's, as well. What's the idea behind this one? Uh, well, you know, in, in, I think 25, 27 years ago, I, um, I, I, I witnessed an accident in Houston, Texas, and um, it, it was, you know, compelling in such a way that um, it left indelible marks on me. And uh, after that fiery accident, I knew there was a story behind it at the time. So 18 years ago, I wrote a story called Realm of Angels. And eventually, you know, when I met her, and that's where the juices started flowing, and then uh, we, you know, changed the title into something else, and eventually made a film out of it. But it, it's really, really suspenseful. People have to watch that to know what I'm yes, talking about. Yes, but indeed. again, Kim, you are a content maker. What really goes behind making content in a film? First, the story. Second, of course, the money has to be there. <laughs> Third, you have to have a director with a creative mind. Then, of course, you have to have also a producer with a, a creative mind. Then you have to write, have to write, have the right DP, director of photography. Then, of course, you have to cast the right actors. Because you don't just say, oh, you know, you wake up in the morning and you want to make a movie. You have to, if you don't have all the, if you're trying to make, uh, say, gumbo, if you don't have the right ingredients, yeah. it's not going to taste good. It's not going to come out good. So it takes a whole lot. 30 seconds for each of you. <laughs> what's, in, what's next in line for you, Dan? Um, Jureka Road and uh, Mona Lisa Morgan, including <laughs> House new, of 1000. They're all films. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, the films that he mentioned, of course, I would like to, I love taking still photo photographs. So definitely would like to find a way to monetize the pictures that I've taken. People love them, so. Yeah. Hopefully you can come back and tell us how to be <laughs> film <laughs> stars, <laughs> film producers and directors. Yes. Thank and you so much. Thank you so much, Esther. All right. Thank you both yes. for joining me on Africa 54 and good luck with your future ventures. Thank you. Thanks for having us.